hello online viewers in this lecture video we'll be talking about closing error what is closing uh, what is closing error what are the causes of closing error and how it can be adjusted or how this error can be uh, how this issue can be solved especially by using board with graphical method so first we will be talking about closing error so what is closing error as you can see here we have got a certain traverse with the uh, service stations a b c d and uh, e and with their traverse and with the respective traverse uh, and with the respective traverse length of 2 2.2 .2, 3 2 and 3 cm respectively but uh, and, and, as, and as you can see here this traverse is a open traverse it is not a closed traverse as you can see here the service stations e and a are not uh, e and a are not joined while about while uh, in actual according to our linear and angular measurements made in the field the traverse uh, should have been uh, should have been a closed traverse the traverse should have been something like this the point a here is the point A, here is point B, C, D, A. No any point A dash should have existed and the point E and A should have uh, should have joined but while but while taking the linear and angular measurements uh, of the field and plotting the and plotting our traverse, uh, we get a certain we get a certain error, we get a certain gap. This gap or uh, this error is known as closing error. As you can see, we have a closing error of 1.5 centimeter. And so how is this uh, and so how is closing error caused? Closing error is caused basically due to two reasons. First reason, uh, first, first reason being uh, defaulty or any error while measuring, uh, while making our angular measurements. While we are, me uh, while we are measuring our four bearings and back bearings, um, four bearings and back bearings, we may not measure the angle correctly due to the presence of local attraction or due to any other, or due to any other issues, uh, issues of manual error or instrumental error. In such cases, we do, we do not get our close traverse. Secondly. Secondly, closing error is also called due to uh, due to faulty linear measurements. While we are using our uh, chain or tape to measure our traverse length or uh, of measure our traverse length, we may not measure the measure uh, measure the length correctly due to presence of sacks or due to any uh, or due to uh, taking of long measurements linear uh, or, or due to taking measurements of. Uh, or do taking measurements of long lengths of long traverse length in such cases also closing error may arise so there is a high possibility that clo uh, so there is a high possibility that closing error may uh, closing error may also be caused when you have uh, when you have uh, correct angular measurements as well so what i mean to say is you can uh, you can you can you can remove the effect of local attraction by using the method of the uh, method of elimination of uh, local attraction by using interior angles interior angles or included angles in, in included angles and, uh, and included angles in such uh, in such case uh, scenario you may have uh, correct four bearings you may have correct back bearings you may have uh, correct included angles uh, correct sorry correct interior angles free from all local attraction and uh, free from all uh, local attraction but in such case also you may not have close traverse the point a as may st still uh, may also still be there there might still be closing error this is because of the effect of linear measurements due to, uh, this is because of the effect of linear measurement so in order to solve this issue what we do is we uh, apply Bordwitz graphical method Bordwitz graphical method helps us to uh, help us to create a close traverse and solve this uh, and solve this issue of closing error so how is board with graphical method applied so for board with graphical method to be applied what we do is first we create a straight horizontal line we simply create a straight horizontal line equal to the equal to the perimeter of the traverse or equal to total length of the traverse so as you can see here i have a b distance of two centimeters so what i do is i simply create a line line long enough of two centimeters two centimeters this represents point a b similarly i move 2.2 centimeter forward to measure point C this is 2 centimeter similarly this is second point is 2.2 centimeter similarly then I create all length 1 2, 3 3 centimeters long then I move on to point E point E which is again 2 centimeters long move on to point uh, then I finally move on to point ADS which is 3 centimeter long so basically what I have done is I have created I have created a simply a straight horizontal line straight horizontal line equal to uh, equal to our perimeter of the traverse uh, showing all the lines so Borders graphical method can uh, now now what you can do is you can follow two methods so let me create one more horizontal line so what can be done next is so, uh, so there is typically two way of using Borders graphical method so a 
so what you can do next is from point a dash equal to the closing error equal to the closing error of 1.5 centimeter you can do uh, you can do two things either you can create a straight uh, straight perpendicular line of 1.5 centimeter 1.5 centimeter long this is 1.5 centimeters long you can uh, you can either do this this is straight perpendicular line or what you can uh, straight perpendicular line and you can join these two points these two points two points and from each survey stations similarly draw straight perpendicular lines straight perpendicular lines this is your first method and, and uh, during your second method both of these give you the same value but just for reference what you can do is as you can see here uh, what you can do is uh, equal to the closing error equal to the closing error and parallel and parallel or in the same orientation as of that of closing error you can uh, Right now I am using a ruler. If you uh, ruler, you can do this by using your drafter and fixing your drafter uh, and tightening your knob and simply moving this to your uh, simply moving this to point A S, A S and create a line equal to 1.5 centimeter. centimeter. 1.5 centimeter. So what you can do is, uh, you can create, you can either create a straight or horizontal perpendicular line of one, of either of either of equal to closing error of one point five centimeter from point A S, or create a line which is of same orientation as of uh, as of A S, which is of same orientation or which or i.e. parallel to this line, i.e. i.e. parallel or as a, as in of same orientation. Next, what you do is you again join these two lines. What you do next is from each of these uh, from each of these survey stations create lines parallel to 1.5 to create create lines parallel to the closing error. You move to point E, create parallel line. Move to point D. Right now I am using uh, a ordinary on ordinary scale, so I may not have uh, I may not have better better precision. Uh, so you can use a drafter for your accurate precision. So after this has been done, you need to measure uh, measure these points. You can name this as name this point as E dash. You can name these points so you can use either of these method but both of these methods is going to give you same value so if you measure the uh, measure the length of eds you get about 1.2 centimeters so if you measure here as well you get the value of 1.2 centimeter we get both of, we get you can use both of these uh, any of these method both give you same value so just for understanding i, I have uh, i have shown you both of these methods so next is one centimeter this is also almost equal to one centimeter. This is about zero point six centimeters. This is also zero point six centimeters, and this point is about zero point three centimeters. So also zero point three centimeters. So what you do next is after you get all these measurements of all these measurements, you need to move on to your uh, you need to move on to your uh, survey stations, survey stations, survey respective survey stations, and uh, and create again parallel lines to the closing error. So you, uh, so you need to be a bit more careful. So you can fix your drafter, move on to your survey stations and create parallel lines. Move on to every survey stations and create parallel lines. And while creating parallel lines, you need to uh, you need to be uh, you need to be careful whether you are drawing your parallel lines downward or upward. You need to draw your survey lines either in the same orientation of either downward, 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 or or, or in the orientation of upward, upward. Right now, I am creating parallel. I am I am creating parallel lines from each survey stations in downward orientation. So what I do next is I move on to point E. I move on to point E and and make a mark of 1.2 centimeters downward. 1.2 centimeters downward. This is exactly 1.2 centimeter. Create my mark. Move on to point D and create a mark of 1 centimeters downward. One centimeters. Create a mark of one centimeters at this at this parallel lines. Move on to point C and make a mark of zero point six centimeters downward. Make sure you are making your uh, making making your markings either downward at each and every stations or either upward in each and every stations that uh, might create an error otherwise. Now I move on to point B and make a marking of zero point three centimeters. So zero point three centimeters and I have my point b dash c dash d dash e dash respectively now what i do is i move on to my point a join e dash e dash move on to point and i just complete my travels c dash move on to b dash and join my point a 
so now no any point uh, no any point it has uh, it has occurs and now we have our close uh, now we have our close traverse following this uh, now we have our close traverse following this method we have made corrections in both linear and angular measurements as you can see as you can see we have shifted our shifted our traverse and we have and we have changes in both the lengths as well as in the angles So my point A, B dash, C dash, D dash, E dash is my new traverse, is my new corrected traverse with no any closing error. So this is how Borbis graphical method is applied. You can use, you can uh, so just for your reference, I'm saying you can use any of these, any of these, um, both of these methods. They will give you the same value. If you have any queries uh, uh, related to closing error or Borbis graphical, uh, gra Borbis graphical method, you can. Uh, you, uh, you, you can comment down below i'll try to answer them as soon as possible and and for the autocad version of uh, autocad version autocad version of compass surveying and how uh, of and how the closing error is solved using borbis graphical method in uh, autocad i have i have added the video in the description box below or you can find at the end of this video do uh, see that as well thank you